Hello everyone, it's Kevin Ann at Eagle Strong Voice again. It's uh, Saturday, July 13th, 2014. This is a very important urgent action call to all of you, especially in the Vancouver area. Tomorrow, Sunday, July 14th, a convicted war criminal named Primate Fred Hiltz, he's a retiring head of the Anglican Church of Canada, he'll be doing another one of his nice quaint little sermons at Christ Church Cathedral, downtown Vancouver, that's the corner of Burrard and Georgia Street at 10.30 a.m. tomorrow. Let me tell you what Fred Hiltz has done. Not only has he presided over a regime of terror that killed over 60,000 Aboriginal children, he's one of the top fiduciary officers under the law, is responsible for those things. He's presided over the destruction of evidence and likely the murder of a woman named Leona Moses, an Aboriginal researcher for the Anglican Church who died mysteriously after being threatened by him after she exposed evidence about the mass murder and experimentation on Mohawk children in the Anglican, what they call the Mushole, the Mohawk Indian School in Brantford, Ontario. Now, this is documented thoroughly here. Over 350 eyewitnesses describe this reign of terror against children. Some of the things that Fred and people like him presided over include sterilizing children, exposing them to communicable diseases, and watching them die. Now, this is not an abstract term like genocide. This is the reality. Children locked together in the same room, the healthy and the sick, and Anglican supervisors watching them as they slowly die from tuberculosis, coughing their little lungs out. What kind of monsters could do this thing and then cover it up and get up Sunday and preach about the love of Jesus? You know, they say, there's an old saying that there's three kinds of people who you don't ever want to see smile because it's not a good sign. Politicians, lawyers, and priests. And in this case, every time Fred Hiltz is in front of the camera, he's got that nice, beneficent smile on. Well, he's the guy who said to every employee of Huron Diocese in Ontario, you will face firing or worse if you talk about what went on at the mush hole. He ordered the destruction of all evidence, even though he had promised the government that the Anglican Church would be forthcoming about any evidence related to the residential schools. That's one of the legal conditions whereby you, the taxpayer in Canada, footed the bill for all of the fallout from that residential school's genocide. I mean, imagine if you or I exposed children to TB, killed them en masse, used them in drug testing protocols, made them eat their own vomit, starved them to death, locked them in closets, gang raped them, electrocuted them, used everything defined as genocide under international law, and did that, what would happen to you and I? We'd probably go to jail for life, or in some countries get the death penalty. Not in Canada. You can do those things and get away with it if you're a member of the Anglican Church, Catholic or United Churches, and especially if you're a leading officer like Fred Hills. I mean, how these people live with themselves, that's something I can't answer. But here's something I can answer, what we have to do in response. I want you all down there tomorrow because it's one thing for these criminals to do these things. We know the nature of the beast. These people have no qualms, no moral framework at all. They are psychopaths, serial psychopaths. They are what they are. But who are we to allow this to go on? Who is the government to allow them tax exempt status and protection under the law? Year after year, not only accessory, but an accessory to their madness. But if you and I don't act on this, we are as guilty under the law of both God and man. So I want you all down there tomorrow, it's Sunday, July 14th, 10.30 a.m. Confront Fred Hills. Here's what we're going to do. We're not only going to hand out this flyer to the church members that basically says it's a legal document filed in the B.C. Supreme Court and the International Common Law Court in Brussels. And it says that you're a member of a criminal conspiracy. If you give money or participate in this church, you can go to jail or under international law. You're also in a state of illegal trespass because all of the churches, Anglican, Catholic, and United, were legally evicted from Squamish territory in Vancouver on March 8, 2008, by C.M. Capilano, who signs this document along with the International Common Law Court. We can hand this out tomorrow. You can get a copy and hand that out tomorrow. Write to us, thecommonland at gmail.com. But we're not only going to do that, we have common law sheriffs there and we need your assistance. We are going to perform a citizen arrest on Fred Hills because he is a convicted war criminal under international law. He belongs in jail. There's been a standing arrest warrant out for him and his arrest since February 25th, 2013. You have the right. Now, citizen arrest law in Canada has been broadened recently. It says 
if you not only you can not only see a harm being done but if you even suspect that somebody might commit a crime in this case against a child or a critic of the church we know what happens to critics of the these churches they end up dead if you're aboriginal like leona moses if you even suspect Fred Hiltz of a crime, you have the legal right to go in there and detain him, hand him over to the police or confine him, especially confine him and don't let him near children. He's a, it's a standing, a real and present threat against children. We have every right to do that. So I expect to see you down there, as many of you as possible. And if you're not in Vancouver, I expect to see you at the local Anglican Episcopalian Church of England or Catholic or United Church of Canada and make those arrests at these other people who are legally convicted because don't forget any official of those church churches is liable for arrest under international law and the laws of Canada citizen arrest laws so I want you down there tomorrow Sunday July 14th 1030 a.m. and every Sunday at these churches write to us the common land at gmail.com be there tomorrow morning 1030 a.m. George and Burrard streets downtown Vancouver finally to get regular updates Tune in every Sunday, this Sunday and every Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern at bbsradio.com slash here we stand for these updates. See murderbydecree.com, especially ITCCS updates. You know, there's an old saying, if the powers that be do not have to step over your body to reach their little victims, then a curse on your lives and a curse on your religion. Well... The curse is on all of us if we don't take action because we have been p making this appeal for years. We attempted to, to confront the Synod of the Anglican Church that met in Vancouver this last week and was directly connected to an upcoming Ninth Circle event, Satanic Cult event happening in Vancouver. We got a paltry response. There's a few of us who attempted to do it. Most of you ignored it. You're saying by that action that the life of a child or 60,000 children or the children who will die tomorrow because we don't act you're saying that those lives don't matter. And if we're really saying that by our actions, not our words, because words are easy, it's what you do with your body now that counts. If you're really saying that, then we don't have a future, because the children are our future. And it can happen to you or your own children tomorrow if you don't act today. So I want to see you all down there. And if you're not going to be there, let it be on your heads. This is Kevin Add at Eagle Strong Voice.